Hello, welcome to the next in our series of Meet the Trainer. Jane Chapel Hyam this time, who trains at the fantastic Abington Place, and she's had a standout season this year. Been training in Newmarket for just over the decade. Not a huge amount of horses, but great success this year with the likes of Belosa and of course Saffron Beach, who finished second in the Guineas not too long ago. So let's go meet Jane and the horses, find out what makes them tick. <laughs> Where we go? Uh, they're going to pull out and we'll head up to the right. Okay, they perfect. do their warm up. In Saudi. Yes, yeah, so I was well, slightly we, lame. We were there. Yeah, but you were. There was none of this. No. So I've I've, I've deteriorated. But I've had MRI scans and X-rays. Yeah. And there's a little hole on the tendon, on the knee, but it's not big enough to do surgery. Right. So how many horses you got? 20, 28. 28. There wouldn't be many 28 horse yards that have done Breeders' Cup, Saudi, the last couple of Dubais. Hmm. Someone has to. Yeah, but it's... Yeah, no, it's good. It's good for the, for the game. Good for staff and, you know, that morale looking forward. Yeah. Normally we're this, just there to make the field up, but I always wanted to go the Breed Devils Cup and so to have one in my own colours was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Belosa walking up here now. Okay, so... You can hear her with her swagger. <laughs> She's pretty she cool She does have a bit of a swagger, Isn't doesn't she? she? So she runs tomorrow in the listed race. Yeah. Morning. Who's on Belosa, Jane? Uh, that's my uh, apprentice, Jay Mackay. Right. Nikki's sister, oh, Alan's yeah. daughter. Yeah. And she rides her all the time? Yeah. No, uh, she just has been this week. Okay. And there, here's my head girl on Golden Love. And then behind is Baz. Good old, who's on Baz? Uh, my um, amateur rider, Vinnie Jakes. He's had one ride, one third. Should say that Baz is the shortened version of Ambassadorial, but it's yeah. an obvious one. Yeah. There's Frank. They all have stable knit. Who's Frank? <laughs> Frank's just, um, I don't know, Frank's just here, he's, he's a three-year-old, he's unraced, but... Um, <laughs> but he's just Frank. He's just Frank and he's here. So Saffron Beach in behind... Good old Stanford Raffles, yeah, she's a I good like old eight-year-old. Well, she's not small, is she? No, she's big, isn't she? Yeah. Powerful. See, right, now she's walked past, I'm going, yeah, okay, she, maybe she's not just a miler. <laughs> 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 But she ran a, she was, she's been brilliant this year, even though she hasn't won, right? Yeah, so she's, yeah, second in the Nelgwyn, second in the Guineas, so. Were you disappointed she didn't win, win the Nelgwyn? No, um, because I suppose over the years and years and years, it's used as a trial, yeah. isn't it? So if you went there 100% fit, what would you have in the locker two weeks later? Yeah. Okay, Tommy, uh, you stay in here because you're going to go Barry. You're going to come out and go Warren. You can go Long. You're staying in Barry and leading Belosa. That's Lion Ring. I bought that out of Mick Helford's yard, so I'm hoping I can turn that into Baz too. There's Robert. What's, he, what's it called, the horse? Lion Ring. Had two, three runs. All right, so if you could go to any, get any jockey you wanted, would it depend on the horse, Jane? I think I work on depend on the horse. Okay. So Adam will always be with, what, so how did Adam start off with Saffron? How did that come about? Was that just a coincidence a, of the day? No, because she's a big, powerful, strong beast. So you wanted her, you wanted him? I just knew that he would suit her. Yeah. How are you finding training in Newmarket in comparison to, say, a decade ago? Um, I think... Has it oh, changed? Not really, to be fair, no. And probably 50 years ago it was exactly the same. <laughs> Just fewer cars? Yeah, yeah. But now, now that the lockdown's lifted, the traffic back here, you forget how bad it was yeah. from 8 o'clock onwards. Was there something 
COVID's was there something changed nice? All our lives, but, hasn't it? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Was there something <clears throat> half? You know, that there was a blessing in in it in the lockdown for you guys or for for, for horse trainers because you could crack on with training horses and it didn't necessarily change things a huge amount your end. No, you're right. We're fortunate that the government allowed us to the welfare of the animals that we're allowed to come in and, and do light exercise and then that increased mm. and then all our um, hygiene levels shot up hugely didn't they yeah but you've always been massive on hygiene haven't you yeah but still like to see it throughout the town and everyone's attitude and it sort of just it's changed the whole way we all live now hasn't yeah. it Totally. No. What are they going to do then? So what will so we so Saffron will do what? Saffron's just coming up here doing one canter on her own. and then heading home. Or will she have company? Yeah, she'll have Stanford Raffles leading her. Okay. And is that all? Because Stanford likes to go forward normally, doesn't he? Yeah, but like he's just. He's is he in a way sort of well here he, for her or as c companion? Right. Yes. I tried having Susie's connoisseur. Yeah. Um, Susie doesn't like Saffron. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> that sounds weird. But you know. Oh, no, horses know, don't they? So these are John Gosden's coming up here now. Right. And we should be on Prescott's wall. I love that, Prescott's wall. Yeah, that's what we call it. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Tucked in. Okay, here she comes now. So she's where? on. She's just so got on. She's on and Stanford's leading her. You've got a group here with red caps, yep. and then she's in the next group. Okay. How many years mm. now is this you've been training? Oh, let's cross the road and not get run over. Um, oh, I reckon. Well, that's a very good question. Yeah, because I couldn't I'm... find out officially. Uh, um. I want to say the end of, I don't know, 2005. And has it gone how you expected? Um, well, do you know what? I reckon the stable gets either a listed or group three winner every year. Yeah. Or very good handicap. I don't think we've missed once yet. Right. Like, what do you think people say about Jane Chapel Hyam? She's an Aussie. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Probably that's about it. I don't know. I wouldn't have a clone. Would you, w was that ever a possibility going back to Oz to train? I think about it, but I've never done it. I think, I don't know. I just, I'm more comfortable here. So, and this is home? Yes. Newmarket is home? Yes. Stop the traffic. The only thing you're branded with is white bridles. Oh yeah. Oh, my dad did that from us uh, when I set up training. He wanted to. I don't know. He said, "Why don't I send you over a load of bridles?" So he very kindly did, and then it's gone from there. All okay? Yeah, yeah. Going. So Belosa had Belosa when she came to you. Mm -hmm. Was she perfectly sound when she got to you? Or had she, she, she'd had little niggly issues? She had little niggly issues. And um, I spoke to Joe the vet that does Sir Edmund's stud farm. Yeah. And we had a good chat and we worked out how we are going to work around her little issue. And thankfully, there is no issue anymore. So, uh, but, I mean, did you do, did, you did something specific to work around that issue? Yes. But so what, so? So she walked, she walked like what we call a, a string hock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as you see now, she walks with a swagger. She walks good, doesn't she? Yeah, but but some horses, well, I know it's Grow rare, but, but some horses do walk like that anyway and it's okay, yes, right? Yes, yes. But you'd rather not yeah. have her. Yeah, and that was holding her back. Maybe that was holding her two-year-old career back. Mm. Yeah, but it's allowed her to develop and get stronger behind. So what, why is it that you're good with, not just good with horses like that, but what, what is it about you that, do you enjoy the challenge of working with horses that may have had an issue? Or does it just happen that way? It's not like you target that. 
I ain't target. I just get given. <laughs> Jane will have it. <laughs> Jane will have it. Patch it up. Um, yeah, I just get given horses like that. And I suppose, yes, it is very rewarding to see them. And if they're good enough, um, go on and win. Might only be listed or group races, but it's, it's nice that um, you can do that for the owner. But what is it about you that you think makes you good at that? Because it's not like, I mean, you don't you know, medical background in... No. Like, but why then? Patience. You, you are quite patient. No, I, I wasn't, but I am now. No. I never was patient, but I am now. Age, like a good bottle of red. Maturing. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the staff here, Jane. Um, so Abby's been with you for a long time. Yeah, Abby, Wendy, and my secretary Andrea from day one. Really? Yeah, I know. <laughs> God, you might maybe they're patient. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe they're the ones that are patient. That's good going, that. Yeah. You must be doing something right. <laughs> um. Well, they're sort of all trained up good together, so sort of work well as a team. Mm. <laughs> but are you, are you quite fair with your staff on time off and things like that? Are you quite, you quite you're strict with I'm, your or I'm not? I think I'm classed as soft. Are you? <laughs> soft boss. So I was going to say fair, but you <laughs> soft. soft boss. Why is that? Oh, uh, well, I'm probably... She says she's a soft boss, by the Am way. Am I a soft boss? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> But it's it's nice position to be in at the start of the season, and um, come and see me at the end of October. <laughs> yeah, yeah, can we? Yeah, yeah. Let's see where we are. Whatever's happened, you'll still yeah. be as chilled, I'm sure. Yeah, hopefully. hopefully. Um, it's been a pleasure. Thanks, Jane. No, thank you. Thank you for coming.